Today we've got really big news on the Grand Princess. It sounds like the passengers on that cruise could not catch a break. And then we also have our first look at the Catch by Rudy, that menu of the new specialty dining that is uh, the very first ship that it's been introduced on is the Enchanted Princess. One of you was so kind to snap a quick picture of that and send it to me. So I'm going to talk to you about that. And then finally, Princess bought those fancy gelato machines from Italy, supposed to make gelato just like they make in Italy but are they serving gelato or are they serving ice cream that's a big question and we're going to talk about it so let's go ahead and get started Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips, and today is Thursday, it's April 20th of 2023, and boy, do we have a lot to talk about. So first of all, uh, the Grand Princess. Let's go in order of how things happened on board that ship. So first of all, on April 12th, which would be um, not this Wednesday that just happened, but the Wednesday before, the passengers on that sailing received a letter from the captain, and the title across the top was Health Advisory, and I have a copy of that letter and it says further to the health information provided to you on embarkation day and the fall follow-up announcements I would like to advise, advise you that unfortunately over the past couple of days we have seen an increase in the number of reported cases of gastrointestinal issues which are strongly suggested of norovirus. It says we have been informed that norovirus is widespread across New Zealand so it's no surprise that with this voyage that they are on that there is some norovirus on the ship. And so they he the captain kindly went through and reiterated the things to make sure that people know to wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands that you minimize direct contact with other people. Please try to use your own stateroom um, bathroom facilities. And then finally, if you experience any of those symptoms, they ask you to please call the medical center as soon as possible, and they will send someone to your stateroom to provide the help that you need. And um, on the Grand Princess, they want you to dial 911. So um, that is too bad. That is really widespread, though. Let me tell you, um, those of you that are brand new around here, the CDC actually here in the United States, issued a warning a few months ago about the number of cases of norovirus and gastrointestinal issues that were showing up and were expected to show up over the next several months and indeed they have and so that they would be present in other um, on a cruise ship is not surprising I am sure that the, it comes up with people who are flying driving riding a bus lots of other things because it is so widespread and um, so that and then on the um, April 16th they had an incident um, of an electrical nature on the Grand Princess. So let me tell you first what the captain explained in the letter. Another one of you was so kind to send that to me, so thank you. But And then I'll tell you what it sounds like some of the fallout is. Yesterday, I mentioned that there is a Grand Princess Facebook group that is private, and they so very graciously ad admitted us to that group. And so we could read through all of these posts and try to see what's going on so that I could share it with you. I know... Um, First of all, a lot of you, a lot of Let's Go family members, we have ceilings coming up on the Grand Princess, as well as um, even if you don't, it is really nice to know when things happen and how smoothly, quite frankly, they are handled and what the cruise lines do um, to make the best of a hard situation on board the ship. So first of all, like I said, this letter is dated April 16th, and it says... Um, Let's see, let's get to the point. It says, as previously advised very early this morning, an electrical incident in deck four, zone seven, electrical substation caused smoke to activate the smoke detectors. So the first response team was called and they found out that it was just smoke, that there were no fires. It says, as you are aware, due to this electrical incident, the power and ventilation supply is inoperative for fire zone seven, which is the area of the ship located at the aft it says of the aft elevators on decks 5 through 16. We wish to assure you that this in no way threatens the safety of our guests and crew, which is always their high risk, highest um, priority, but it says it does affect the comfort of the guests in these staterooms. So those guests have been related sorry, have been relocated to other staterooms on the ship, but at the same time, the Vista Lounge, the Alfresco Bar, the 15 
the Platinum Photo Studio and the Botticelli Dining Room remain closed as well. I also, um, they also included that um, if you had dining reservations in Botticelli that you could just walk up to the Da Vinci or Michelangelo dining rooms and they would um, do their best to assist you and get um, seat, seat you for dinner as quickly as they can. And if you wanted to make new dining reservations, they had the number of the extension that you could call for assistance with that. They also said that they had have inactivated the um, Ocean Now delivery of food because um, they can't accommodate that right now, but they said that room service is available. Um, you're welcome to order room service anytime you want. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know um, everything about why they would not be able to have um, turned off the Ocean Now food delivery, but I am sure that their um, staff is really busy. And on that um, Facebook group that we were on, lots of um, people reported seeing workers in different areas of the ship trying to fix everything. They also reported that they expect to hopefully be able to get that electrical panel um, that caused the whole problem. They're hoping to be able to get that fixed when they are in Hawaii, is what several people said as well. Um, I wanted to tell you first what the letter said because that is what we firmly know. And then um, it's wonderful how these Facebook groups and all these different forums work. And I like to think that our Facebook group is included in that. We did have some of you share there, so thank you. Um, to share all the information that everyone gets. And so, um, like I said, let me make sure that's all the important thing. Um, yep, that's that's the main uh, that's the the main gist of that letter. But those 250 cabins in that area of the ship, luckily, were able to be relocated. You think of some of these sailings that we've heard of lately that truly are sold out or almost sold out, and that would be really hard to locate all of these people. So when you think of not having power, clearly you don't have any lights. And um, where they have been sailing there in the South Pacific and coming up, they're almost to Hawaii. Um, it is hot. <laughs> and so people don't have air conditioning. And so they were moving people um as much as good as well as they could to cabins but clearly a lot of interior cabins were as where people were moved to you know there's not a lot of often mini suites or suites left so they couldn't accommodate everyone in the kind of uh, booking that they had paid for so i am sure i am certain that something is going to be forthcoming um yeah i would sure think from princess with some cruise credit or something to accommodate people that paid for a cruise in um, better accommodations than they ended up at the same time, though, let me say you never, um, you know, emergencies happen. And how do you always pay someone for every emergency that ever happens? That's also um, a consideration, I think, in this event. But they did have to go ahead and move all of those people. Um, the Majestic Princess is quite close to the Grand Princess because she is on a very similar um, sailing coming up um, to Hawaii. And so some people were speculating that maybe some of the people that were in those cabins that got moved are going to be moved over to the Majestic Princess. But of course, there's no confirmation about this. But one thing that I do love about this is overall, it sounds like people are truly trying to make the best um, of the sailing, even if they're in a different cabin than they expected. You know, the Vista Lounge is closed, the dining room is closed. Sounds like everyone is, um, overall, everyone is trying to do their best to enjoy the cruise that they're on, which makes me really happy. Um, you have to take stock some days of where you are and make the best of it because that day is not going to come again. And uh, this cruise isn't going to come again. So um, that is everything that we know about the uh, Grand Princess right now. As soon as we hear something else, I will let you know. But um, let me reiterate once again that the captain said no one's life was ever in danger and they do take such good care. Um, so if you are ever on a ship when something like this happens, uh, don't panic. Um, just follow the directions that they give you and um, you'll be safe. I'm very confident in that. Now, um, really quickly, I did mention this in my thing to start yesterday, and I just love these stories because yesterday on our Facebook group, our amazing Let's Go family member, um, Trish and her husband, they are on, which ship right now? I want to say they're on the Discovery Princess, and they had ordered, they, you know how when you're on Princess, you can put out that little card, um, and if you haven't been on Princess yet, they have these little cards that you can hang outside um, or tuck in the, um, like your thing where your medallion thing lights up when you when you get there with your room number on it anyway you post it outside your door usually by midnight they'll come by and pick it up and in the morning they will deliver your rather continental breakfast to your cabin um 
during the time frame that you indicate. They have little boxes that you check to say, you know, do you want it from 6 to 6.15 or whatever, and they'll bring it in that time frame. And you kind of fill out what you want, and it is a continental breakfast. There's usually like croissants. There's a little breakfast sandwich that you can order. Um, let's see, orange juice, hot chocolate, those kind of things that have a roll things like that and fruit. So anyway, they had put one out the one evening and their breakfast never came. The next day she happened to have uh, an early at eight o'clock um, spa appointment. So she thought, I'll put one out tonight so that I can have a little bit to eat before I go. It didn't show up again. So she called down to room service and said, I would like one of those breakfast sandwiches, please. And um, I think she said some juice to go with it. Well, when it arrived, um, they brought it and um, she put a picture there and it looked to me like it was like several, like maybe eight English muffins with butter and jam. And so clearly that was not what she asked for. She posted on our Facebook group. She's like, I am done with princess. It was something easy I asked for and they couldn't manage. And um, all day yesterday, truthfully, Trish, if you're listening, I felt really sad. I was, I was just sad because, um, I get it. I get it. When you go on a cruise, you expect something. I get it. I am with you. At the same time, I was like, oh, I just love going on Princess. And so I was so happy when she posted, um, wow, this is the flip side of my earlier post, she said. Um, first, first of all, they got back to their cabin late morning and there was a very nice snow and a lovely basket of fruit. And then later in the afternoon, she wanted, I think it was in the afternoon or evening, they um, wanted some cheese and crackers and so she went and looked in the buffet and there wasn't any and she saw um, a, you know one of the crew members there and said does there happen to be any brie available and crackers she said he introduced himself and told me that he was David the executive chef he asked where I was sitting and I told him on the pool deck he told me to go sit down enjoy myself and I'll bring it to you and he brought her her very own plate of delicious brie himself and um, with what she asked for and so um, you know what this is such a lovely reminder to me and I hope all of us to like give everything a second chance I really appreciate it when someone gives me a second chance and so um, give princess or whatever cruise line a second chance because sometimes there's just you know I thought of this in in a light of the turnover with crew that they have. Maybe that crew member just didn't know what to do and they wanted to try to do something. And you never know what the breakdown was, but um, give everybody a second chance. I really appreciate that, Trish. So thank you for sharing that with us. Now, we are all, I think, so many of us excited about that new specialty restaurant on Princess, The Catch by Rudy. So Rudy is um, an amazing chef. He is widely known for what he does. And so let me tell you here what um, some of the highlights are from the menu. I don't want to just read you the whole thing and bore you here, but um, let's start with the starters. They've got the shrimp on the rocks. I am really happy to see it says it comes with horseradish cocktail sauce, so it's not the French sauce that they like French dressing type of sauce that they have replaced it with if you get it in the main dining room. They've got calamari, they've got a tail of citrus, tuna salad de soise, a lump of crab cake, lump crab cakes, I'm sorry, they've got um, sherry bake salad, sa smoked salmon sensation, they've got a seafood tower, they've got a pate of duck liver, mussels provencal, and then a seafaring stew. So those are your starters. And then for your main course, you can choose one of those. You can have the concerto, the sea and shore, which would be their surf and turf, which is a filet mignon that's five to six ounces, a four ounce lobster tail, red wine sauce, and steamed vegetables. Then they've got um, shiitake crusted halibut they've got grilled king prawn um, a triple s platter i thought that sounded fun there's scottish salmon shrimp sea scallops with a lemon butter sauce um, and then they're also going to have a catch of the day like how fun is that i like to think that that will be really like maybe more of a local fish to where you were last in port it says that will be Chef Rudy's fresh catch from the trolley. And um, then they've also got rock and lobster for a $30 surcharge. And so remember that dinner is already like, it sounds like it's going to be $39 like the other specialty restaurants on Princess are. And um, 
Anyway, so for $30 more, you can get a whole shebang 12 ounce lobster tail. You can get a tailored for you, a whole lobster that is split and ready to eat, or you can get a salad of a whole lobster. So um, then they also are going, several things, they're gonna have desserts, delight in the air, Mozart's berry composition, just all these fun things. They, oh, they are going to have oysters on the half shell. They're gonna have um, caviar. And then let me tell you the last thing here because it sounds really good it's not the last thing on the menu it's just the last one I'll take time to tell you about it's called fantastic journey elaborate tiered seafood display serving one two or four guests and that is um, under the heading also with the whole shebang the tailored for you whole lobster or the whole lobster salad those are all in that section that are going to have a $30 upcharge but it sounds like it's going to be lovely so I am really excited and if any of you who are on the enchanted princess have had the opportunity to eat there yet let us know like i said um like people that um i know that are sailing on the majestic princess in may um after that may 5th date um that that's supposed to be live that is not showing up yet as an option to book on their app and um, when i call princess you cannot book it right now on the majestic princess so i'm sure you can't on the others i don't um I don't know if you can book it on the Enchanted. Let us know, okay? Really excited about that. Now, the last thing we need to talk about is gelato from Gelato Machines or weakening ice cream from Gelato Machines. So I was um, reading through um, lots of things and um, somebody posted this in our group and then I think it's a different person that sent me an email about it. And they are both people who happen to be on the Caribbean Princess. And one of them actually posted a picture of um, the that premier dessert that they got um, on April 15th while they were on board the ship and another one just told me about the fact that they were talking to crew members about the gelato and the gelato that would go into those desserts and asking if they could just order plain gelato if they have that plus package or the premier package and not have like the whole big dessert in the course of the conversation um, it came out that they have those gelato machines but they make ice cream in the gelato machines so I do not know if that is only on the Caribbean Princess. I don't know if it's on all of the ships. So those of you who can taste the difference between gelato and ice cream, let us know. Because um, that's a big difference between ice cream and gelato. And I don't even mean that in a... Um, a snotty way but they're two different desserts and so I think that um, if it's ice cream you should call it ice cream and if it's gelato you should call it gelato so I hope that if they're making ice cream in their gelato machines that they change and start making gelato in their gelato machines so tell us what you all are finding out when you go to have gelato when you try those fancy those new premium desserts that they've got is that ice cream or is that gelato so um, that's, that's the question of the day. And then also, I would really like to hear from all of you, um, what would you expect if you were on the Grand Princess? I've been thinking about that a lot since we've had this news coming out, uh, especially about having the smoke and then the um, power outage so that it's rearranged so much of um, people's um, accommodations on that cruise and the areas of the ship that you can access. What would you expect? Would you expect nothing that it's just, you know, one of the risks that you take when you go on a cruise? Would you expect some future cruise credit? Um, put in the comments below as well put anything that will be helpful to everyone who is sailing soon any experiences you've had if you have not subscribed yet would you please subscribe to our channel we would love to have you with us and we have an amazing group of people here with us and if you appreciate these updates would you please give this video a thumbs up it actually really helps us out and I very much appreciate you very 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 much so thank you I'll be talking to you all again really soon you all take really good care God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye.